name is Gail Bannon. Um, I work with Fort William First Nation as their Culture and Recreation Coordinator. But this summer I work on an empty Waju, Mount McKay Scenic Lookout. And it was the last year, uh, 2015, where we built our first birch bark canoe. Well, Darren was the one who found the tree. He said it was a gift for the students. Like, you don't find a tree that big anymore. We have a high school work program that employs, um, this year we employed 20 Fort William First Nation high school students aged 15 to 18 within six weeks and we got the canoe built. Every one of our students had the opportunity to, to get bark. We spent numerous afternoons and mornings in the bush collecting all of our spruce roots. Yeah, and they built it with the help of uh, Darren and a few of our other uh, senior staff out here. We had uh, three news stations out there with all of us. Our chief and council came out. We went out to Sandy Beach on Lake Superior and we spent uh, probably about three hours just paddling around, taking turns. To, to be able to actually make something out of what they thought was nothing, that's, that's something that's around them all the time and they could see how they transform nature into um, a functional vessel. I know I'll carry it for the rest of my life and I know those kids who built this canoe will always remember. You can't not fund these programs. What it does for them, you know, in the culture that we live in and living on reserve and their chests are a little, you know, higher. Their smiles are a little bit bigger and you could see the pride that they have within themselves. You want a chief and council to work together? Make them build a canoe together or let them build a canoe together. If they can build a canoe together, they can govern together. These kids got to build a canoe together. They're not in any form of government right now, but um, they know what it takes to work with somebody. And, you know, maybe that the fact that they can't do it on their own. You know, like the, the history of Canada could be written in a canoe, right? Just think of how much journals were in these canoes after first contact. And just to tell the, the history of Canada through a canoe, because it's interesting, right? And some people might not know. This was uh, one of the best experiences of my life, and I hope that I could do it over and over and over again. And working with kids, nothing wrong with that. You know, they're just little human beings. <laughs>